Hey guys, I am here with a really exciting video. I'm going to be sharing my Sephora Beauty Insider Holiday Savings Event recommendations and wish list video with you all. I have lots of recommendations, a little bit of things on my wish list because I don't know what it is, but there's nothing really calling out to me that is really new at Sephora. There's a couple things that are on my list that are new, but I'm not really like, oh, I'm going to grab all these things. I'm more so probably going to be replenishing a lot of my favorites. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, consider subscribing, giving me a like, comment down below what you guys will be picking up or what's on your wish list. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my recommendations for hair care, and I think at the end of the videos, I'll quickly do my wish list with you guys. But the first recommendation I have here is gonna be from Olaplex. You guys know that I love Olaplex. This works really well with my hair. This is gonna be a bonding sort of system for your hair. A lot of people, um, confuse this with the protein treatment and um, I think even when, in one of my previous videos I was um, kind of using it interchangeably with a protein treatment but it's not quite a protein treatment at all it kind of works similarly but this is more of a bonding treatment for your hair it works really well for people who have color treated or chemically uh, chemically treated hair so if you have damaged hair this is a really good system um, this system in particular works really well for my hair i love the number six the bond smoother this is a leave-in treatment you need the tiniest bit of this i've had this forever and i'm probably have one fourth or maybe almost half of the bottle to go i might go ahead and just pick up another one of these just to have it on backup but i definitely recommend this if you need a good leave-in treatment especially if you heat style your hair this is something really great after you Get out of the shower before you blow dry your hair just to take the tiniest bit and run it through the length of your hair like the mid length to the ends you will thank me later because this will really help to um keep the ends of your hair healthy and not dry and hay like it's just really really good and speaking of olaplex my next recommendation is obviously going to be the olaplex number three treatment this is going to be the limited edition bonus size and normally comes the same size as this which is going to be a 3.3 fluid ounce or 100 milliliter bottle this one here is going to be an 8.5 ounce bottle or 250 milliliter bottle um and i have maybe one fourth of this bottle left so i definitely need to pick up one of these in the sale so this is actually the repairing treatment this is the actual sort of uh bonding treatment the number three um you're going to use this after you wash your hair before you go into your conditioning routine this is an extra step that you add in um as a repairing and strengthening treatment for your hair this has really really helped my hair to maintain length to help it grow strengthen it up and protect against all the damage that i do to my hair whether it is physical damage from like pulling it up in ponytails, wrapping it up at night, or whether it is heat damage from my straightening routine or anything like that. This is just really, really, really good. The next hair thing I'm going to talk about is the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Scalp Treatment. I love this. I have so many of these on backup. This is going to be a little dropper sort of um, treatment that comes with a little dropper that you put in your scalp. I like to do this after I wash my hair before I go into my blow drying and everything. This just really helps to treat any dryness, itchiness, irritation on your scalp. I have a very problematic uh, problematic scalp so this is something that I always keep in my routine and I always like to have and I like to have backups of it because I never like to run out but I highly recommend this if you have issues with your scalp and you want to start getting into like scalp treatments and stuff like that and products specifically catered to your scalp this is so good the product that I don't have here um, I forgot to grab it and it's all the way in my front room but it's just the uh, dream coat color wow um, product it's that anti-frizz sort of product that you put in your hair before you blow dry your hair I love that I'll probably go ahead and get the larger size because I got the little travel size um, from the last sale and love it and I still have a bunch of product in there maybe I'll just get another travel size because they last forever um, but I love that highly recommend that that is an anti-humidity anti-frizz 
sort of product and if you are someone who is natural who wears your hair straight or maybe you have a natural curl pattern wave pattern in your hair or your hair gets frizzy from humidity that's a really great product to add some sort of coating to your hair it's like adding like a gloss to your hair but it's temporary and it just helps to smooth your hair and keep it smooth um and i really really like it i always use it every time i do my hair it is so so good Surprisingly, I don't have any skincare that I want to replenish because I am literally up to my ears in skincare right now. I have so much skincare, unopened skincare, that I haven't gone through. And I can't even think about adding any more skincare. There's a few things that I do have on my wish list that I might get, but um, I don't really need to replenish anything because I have so much to get through. Um, so I'm really not going to recommend anything for skincare because one, skincare is pretty personal and um, there's a few staple products that I've mentioned in the past like the Sunday Riley uh, Good Jeans, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the um, Dr. Dennis Gross, you know, uh, pads. Those are really good. Those exfoliating pads. There's so many things that are really, really great and are top sellers for Sephora um, that I could definitely recommend. But I'm going to go ahead and just get into the makeup and then I'll go ahead and get into body care. Let's go ahead with the complexion. I have two powders that I want to share with you guys. The first being the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Finish Face Powder. This is amazing. This is like the best finishing powder for your face it's the best touch up powder it doesn't add any weight or dryness to your skin it just blurs everything i don't particularly like this under my eye because it doesn't set me well enough because i have very long work days and very just long days in general i wear my wake up makeup for a long time a uh, long period in the day so this would be nice to set your under eyes if it's just something quick dinner or something but for longevity i like um something else but this is the perfect face powder so i use this all over my face except for under my eye and I love it because it just blurs the skin it gives you this creamy beautiful complexion and um, I just really like it. it doesn't break me out it just blurs everything I'm very oily and it mats me out without making me look dry and cakey and you can layer this powder and touch up with this powder um, as many times as you want and it doesn't get cakey I don't know what magic this is but it's so so good the next powder I'm probably going to replenish, and this is completely empty, is going to be the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and the color Translucent Honey, which is the one that is a little bit deeper than the original um, Translucent Powder. I really love this. Um, I recently went through the Patrick Star, his uh, one size beauty line, the powder. I really like it, but I hate the packaging on that. I hate, hate, hate that packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to using my Laura Mercier powder because the packaging is just better in my opinion. And I wish she would change the packaging on that because that powder is so, so good. But I'm going to go ahead and replenish all my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is my favorite powder to set the under eye. And I like to kind of put it right here around my lap lines and a little bit on my chin. Any areas that I get very, very oily um, or have larger pores, this is really great to sort of bake those areas and give that flawless, flawless finish on your face. I actually have a couple foundations that I want to talk about and that I highly recommend. One that I don't have right now um, is going to be the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I think that came out this past year. Um, and that one's really, really good. And um, the only thing with that is the color range is a little difficult in my opinion. But I really like the finish of that. But two foundations that I've been wearing um, for a long time and that I can really highly recommend are going to be the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurry Skin Tint. I love this stuff. I don't like crazy full coverage foundations. Um, I like more of a medium to light coverage foundation and the Fenty Beauty is great. It's like a medium coverage but you do get coverage out of it. It blurs the skin. Um, I really like this for just an everyday wear. Um, I realize that this foundation doesn't if I have a very, very long day, towards the end of the day, it does start to break up on my skin. But I don't mind that because I wear it for a long time and it looks really good. I have it on right now. It looks good when you're taking photos. It looks good in person when people are up close to you. I get so many questions when I wear this foundation. Maybe every single day someone's like, what foundation are you wearing? What makeup are you wearing? And it's either this Fenty Beauty Easy Skin uh, Easy Drop 
blurry skin tint in the color 14 or the Dior face and body foundation I love this I'm probably gonna go ahead and get a lighter color because I have a darker color that I only wear really in the summer uh, or when I have my tan this is 4.5 W I'm probably gonna go ahead and get a 4 uh, W in this so that I can start wearing it more in fall winter this looks so good on the skin I don't know what magic this is but this looks amazing on the skin. Now this backstage line you can only get at Sephora, um, I believe. And this is the perfect time to get it because this line is not cheap at all. But this foundation is amazing. It lasts forever too because you it's a very liquidy foundation. You need very, very little. But I love and highly recommend these. I also have a couple concealer uh, concealer recommendations that I want to mention. Last year, the or this past year, the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer also launched, and I'm a huge fan of this and love this. I'm probably going to go ahead and get a little bit of a lighter color in this for winter. I love the finish of this. It's moisturizing, but it has a lot of coverage to it. It blends really nicely. It works over lots of different foundations, and I just really, really like it a lot it looks really good in person um and i like to wear a lot of concealer and it never looks cakey another concealer that i really love is going to be the nars um what is this soft matte complete concealer it's that concealer that's in the little jar here i have the color medium dark 1.5 sucre de Rouge. Don't give me the lion on the pronunciation on that but i really like this it just is a soft matte just like the name it gives this blurred matte complexion under the eyes around the skin I use this um, on top of the Huda Beauty but just kind of here to add a little bit of extra brightness and kind of flatten and matte out that area I also use this under my brows this is something that I typically just always use I use multiple concealers when I'm doing my makeup um, and I just really really like these I do highly recommend them Another complexion product that really doesn't fit any category. This is like an extra step. This is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I hope they have them in stock during the time of the uh, sale because this is a product that I always use. I always use no matter what. I always use this. I put this underneath my foundation almost as like a underneath highlighter. It's so pretty. I have it on today over my makeup as well i don't normally do that but i just felt like adding a little extra highlight on the skin i have this in so many different colors i use this also in my professional kit makeup kit is just beautiful if you don't have the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury what are you doing what are you doing they even sell the little travel sizes in sephora i think that's specific to sephora those little minis you can do the mini and just try it out they have even the mini airbrush flawless finish powders as well so you can kind of just try them out they're really really good Staying on complexion, I have a bronzer recommendation, which is none other than the Gucci Beauty Bronzer. If you guys see mine, it is literally about to be done. Like, I need another one. Um, so this is in the color, I have number four. It's a beautiful, very warm toned bronzer. I love this bronzer. It took me forever to go through it, so it's going to last forever. It just blends beautifully on the skin. It has a tiny, slight, it's not shiny. But it has, it's not flat matte. It has a little bit of a sheen, a satin finish to it. So I really like this. Um, it's the only powder bronzer I've been using for like a year now. The next product I want to recommend is something new to me. And it's going to be the Gucci Beauty uh, Blush. And I have the color 6 Warm Berry. Uh, don't love the opening of these blushes. But it is a beautiful, warm rosy berry toned i have it on today i love these blushes again it has a similar texture to the bronzer where it gives just a nice glow but it's not glittery it doesn't add texture to your skin these blushes are really pretty they're expensive but this packaging is just so luxe and gorgeous like i love pulling this out and looking at it it's just so pretty pretty it makes me happy and this is something um that would be great to get in um a sale because you don't want to spend all that money on something like a blush, but it's well worth it. A few more makeup bits to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, this eyeliner, which is the One Size Point Made Bodacious Black 24-Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, 
I don't know what's with these long names in these companies, but I really love this eyeliner pen. I've had it for a while, hasn't dried out on me yet, which was my concern. Um, hasn't dried out. I specifically like this pen because it does not run, it does not leak on me, it's easy to use, it's very black doesn't irritate my eyes so this is definitely something that I'm going to go ahead and replenish on because it just works. I love things that are easy that work so I'm going to go ahead and get another one of these because I really love this eyeliner. My Holy Grail Mascara is going to be the Rare Beauty uh, Mascara. I love this mascara so much. I'm going to get a couple of these actually because um, the new mascara that I'm trying has irritated my eyes and I just need to go back to something that I know that works, that doesn't run, that I love. I also really love the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara, but the last time I wore it, it actually ran on me a little bit, so I was a little confused by that because it doesn't really run on me. Um, so I don't know why it did that, but I'm going to go ahead and just get a couple more of the Rare Beauty mascaras because this doesn't run on me, it doesn't flake, it's easy to get off at the end of the night with my, you know, my micellar water, um, it doesn't irritate my eyes, which is the main thing, and it gives the prettiest, blackest, most, like, voluminous lashes that I ever have seen in my life. I love this mascara. This mascara is really special. I really, really like it. I have a lip liner, obviously. It's going to be the Foxy Brown Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liners. They're called Lip Cheats, but they are waterproof. They're easy to use. They have great colors. Um, obviously, Pillow Talk is like the famous color, but if you are a woman of color who has a deeper um, tone to your lips, the Foxy Brown is that perfect brown lip liner. I have it on today. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wear it every single day. I go through multiple liners in a year, so I always have to repurchase them. The K-Skin uh, Lip Balm SPF 30, I discovered it this summer. I bought it for a trip and have loved it ever since. It is so gorgeous. Actually, I'll put some on now because I think my lip is matte. Put some on now. It is so gorgeous. It is ultra shiny. It's more, to me, it's more of a lip gloss than a lip balm, which I love. I love the smell. It has that SPF in it to protect your lips. I just really like this, um, and I'm going to definitely get another one of it because I have gone through this tube, and uh, that says a lot because I have so many lip products. You guys need the airbrush follows setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury whether you get the travel size or the full size you need it in your life this is the best setting spray hands down I keep venturing out trying other ones I don't know why I do that because this is the best setting spray in the world honestly honestly this is the best setting spray there's nothing better than this I don't care what anyone says you need this, you need to try it because it is great. It doesn't feel, when you put it on your skin, it doesn't make your skin feel tight and weird. It doesn't break me out, but it really is beautiful. It gets rid of that powdery look that you can have right after you do your makeup. It just makes your makeup melt into your skin and it really helps to keep it on all day. I do tell the difference. I, I can tell the difference if I use this and I don't use this. So really love it. All right, I just have a couple body care products that I'm going to talk about, and um, you know that Sephora always has their 30% off during the sale, and the 30% off is actually for everyone, um, and I always get the all-day body hydrator. I think it's like 17 or 18 bucks for a big old 13.5 ounce. This is a great moisturizer. It's just a really good body butter, super hydrating. It smells very clean. I always pick these up. These also make great gifts um, as well and why not get 30% off on it. It's just an amazing uh, body cream. My Holy Girl body cream though I discovered last year and I was definitely late to the game and it's going to be the Fenty Skin uh, Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. It is just that. It is a whipped oil. When you put this on your skin looks so hydrated. And you look like a glazed donut. It's just amazing. This is deeply hydrating. I love it. I've gone through so many refills. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I just got another refill from the 25% off sale that they had. Um, 
Fenty uh, Beauty had their own sort of friends and family and I got 25% off. I got another one of my refills, but I'm probably going to go ahead and pick up another refill during the Sephora sale. I definitely recommend this if you love a good body butter that is, you don't have to work it in though. You don't have to break it down. You put it all put on the skin. It's so easy to rub into the skin and it makes you like super hydrated. If you don't like a very like sort of oily um, film on your skin, you might not like it, but I do, so I love it. Especially going into winter, you need that extra hydration. Um, hydration. I live on the East Coast. I live in New York, so I'm gonna need all the butter, you know, body butters and oils and things like that on my skin. I have a little mini too. You can get the mini one to just kind of try it out as well. It's a little bit more economical, but the larger one is refillable, which I really, really love. Alright guys, you will notice that I did not talk about the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I always replenish on, but the Fenty has definitely took over, it, you know, the Fenty took over, I, I Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Who. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into my wish list on Sephora. I'm going to get into my wish list. Um, I'm just going to go, I'm not going to go in order, I'm not going to go by anything, I'm just going to go by, you know, what shows up. And I have the Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette, and here it's $67, it has all these wonderful colors in it, it has some fun colors, and then it also is a ton of neutrals. I don't typically buy a lot of makeup, like um, eyeshadows and things like that during the sale because... I have a ton of eyeshadow and I'm a person who doesn't like to collect eyeshadows and things like that. I'll find a palette that works and then we'll rock it out to the world. The wheels fall off, but I want to try a new eyeshadow palette and this one really intrigued me and a lot of people talk about the um, Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I also wanted to get the Ottawa Beauty Bowel Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. It's like Sephora's number one deep conditioning treatment and so many people love it. I haven't tried it yet and I love hair care and it's on my wish list so I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of those up to try it out see how I like it. I have a bunch of hair care on here. The next thing is gonna be the Color Wow Best Glossy Hair Money Mask Set. So it comes with the mini Color Wow that I talked about, the Dream Coat. It comes with um, also, it also comes with the Color Security Shampoo. Um, and the money mask for super glossy expensive looking hair so yeah I'm excited to try that my hair is not colored but um, I think it'll really give a bunch of hydration to my hair and I just want to try it out it's not crazy expensive the set is $48 it's a $68 value I think I put a couple sets in here um, the IGK, I have the IGK Prep and Extend Hair Maintenance Set. It has the Good Behavior 4-in-1 um, Prep Spray. I've used this before and really like it. It's a good uh, detangler and it's supposed to help with frizz. Really like the IGK hair products. I haven't used them in a while. I've used them up and haven't repurchased in a while, so I kind of want to get back into them. And then it also has the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo, which um, has a lot of really good reviews and I haven't tried it so I want to get that set to try those products it's $35 and it's a $61 value um, I have the house labs um, foundation on here because everyone has been talking about that foundation and I want to try it out <laughs> I want to jump on the bandwagon of course and try it out so I have that on there and I want to try that out. I'm going to check that out in person, see what color I'll be, and probably buy that in person. I have the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. I had this on my list last time for the last sale, but I didn't pick it up. And I kept it on my loves list because I think I do want to try it, especially going into fall, winter. And I also have the Killian Angel Share Perfume. I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and grab that perfume. We'll see. When I do my haul, you'll see what I actually pick up and what I got, what I replenished, and what I got from my wish list. But um, I really want to pick up a perfume. Um, and I think that's the one I'm going to probably settle on. So that's my wish list of what I want to pick up along with what I would like to replenish from the recommendations that I share with you guys from my favorite things that I buy from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys 
um, are going to be picking up, whether it's something that you love you're going to replenish, or whether it's something that you want to try and it's on your wish list of something that you want to get. So let me know in a comment down below. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.